So the lending market has had a rapid reset in, in, in recent weeks. The Bank of England had already been raising interest rates gradually from what was a very, very historic low. And now we are going back into what I would call the old normal because the rates that uh, the Bank of England are, going to, are setting and will be setting probably in the next month a higher rate of interest on bank rate. And that obviously feeds through to lending rates. But lenders have already taken a, a more cautionary approach. And compared to, say, 12 months ago, where you could get a five-year fix for 2%, you'd probably be very lucky to get a five-year fix for 6% now. So that's a massive, very quick adjustment to, to a, a, a lending uh, a cost, which is going to impact on many, many people. So people need to rethink the, their, their, their numbers. Um, there is no point in, in taking on a buy-to-let if it's only going to generate a 5% gross yield, because you're going to be paying 6% to borrow the money to fund that. And that is ar arithmetic, that, that it just doesn't make sense unless you're putting in a huge, huge deposit. Uh, so the impact of that is, is yields are going to adjust. Rents, however, positively, are, are, are on a very strong upward trend. Average rents around the UK are very positive. Um, and obviously that, that in itself is going to cause uh, problems for some people that can't afford the higher rents. But this is just, unfortunately that's the way that, 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 that you know things evolve um, people that are concerned about falling prices i would say possibly we may see some price adjustment but don't forget in the last three years average property values are up over 20 percent so you have to set that into context